Howdy folks, welcome back. So here we are at January 8th of 2021 and you can see we've had another big huge blast come off the sun, huge filament release and uh, we're going to take a look at this filament because it looks a little bit too big. Okay, here I've freeze-framed it where this filament's coming out right here. Over on this side, you can see how far it's reached out. It's, you know, way, way past this coronal boundary kind of the sun. And then we'll go forward through here, boom. And look at this loop, how far out it goes. It's because it's reaching out to a bigger object that's right here. This big object... And another little object right here is causing this white bow shock filament type release. And then there's another little object right back behind it with a little black bow shock. Here you can see the curvature of the bigger object right here with the smaller one right in there. Another trailing one. Okay, let's put it back into motion. Okay, and to me, I can see a bigger object with this brighter part wrapping around the smaller object. Okay, here we are over at Stereo A, the same event, January 8th of 2021. Here's a different angle, and you can make out the nice round object with the two little secondary objects. And we'll slow it down and go frame by frame. Okay, here I freeze framed it. We're going to go frame by frame. Here our uh, CME starts to erupt from the sun. You can make out this little bright spot in the back is going to turn out to be that little filament that reaches back right here. And it's actually connecting to the secondary object right here. It's a, it's a, a conduit or a connection to the, plas the plasma connection to the sun. There we go. And as it emerges, you can see these objects are clearly in front of this bigger object back behind it. There's a nice image where you can see the perfect round sphere right here, an object right here, secondary one right here. Let's go a little bit further because right here in this image, it actually has a face in it. Okay, here I've tried to zoom in on this face. Hopefully the camera captures it. It's almost like a side profile face. It's right here. Here's an eye right here and an eye right here. A nose coming down, a mouth slit, the bottom of the chin. The face seems to be bipolar. It's got a black on one side and white on the other. It's kind of white on this side with a black eye and black on this side with a white eye. And I'm talking about this face right here, the nose, the mouth, the eyes. It almost looks like it has a crown coming up off of it there, too. I just find it odd that these objects ended up having faces on them and stuff like that. So let's put this back into motion. Okay, here I've put it back into motion here, and something I want you to look at is when these two objects come off and the filament finally releases, this object, the little one, glows for a second after the filament release and dims out. So it's super bright and then dims out as it moves away. Okay. Let's go in just a little bit closer so you guys get a good look at this. You can see the activity that's going on there. Okay. Then, as I was about to wrap up this video, I went back and checked the instrument, and there were a few more added frames here, and uh, check out what else happened now. So we're watching another event happen right up here. Here's our instrument reacting to it. See it coming out. Okay. Do you see that? Let's zoom in on this. 
Okay, here I've zoomed in on this for you, and you can clearly see this huge bow shock going around some kind of object right here. And look how profound this is. It goes way out and around, way out and around. Here's the next frame right here. It's a little darker, but you can make out material going around this way and going around this way, all the way around this thing. I've never seen such a pronounced bow shock. It's definitely an object there. There's the next frame right there. Hopefully this camera's picking it up. Next frame. You can clearly make out some kind of black round object it looks like right here. Looks like a big old eye looking at us. Okay, here the instrument starts to react to it, and there's like one more frame. Okay, here I've backed out a little bit. Watch both sides of this event as I go back and forth through it. Over here on the red side, you can see it too. Wow, just finding this right at the end of my video. I'm gonna have to do another, another bad, another video after this, on the rest of this event here. That's it for now. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until my next video, bye.